Holy cow! We're here with Kofo live and on. And we're having technical issues. Oh, there we go. What? what? Okay. We're here with Kofo live and undead. We're in a we're back at mutiny socially, uh, not quite distancing, but we've got masks on, so we're being very conscientious. And I he's, am dead. He's been and dead. Require no mask. However, <laughs> but we still hand need hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Some hand sanitizer. Here's some hand sanitizer. <laughs> Excellent. I'll take some of that. Yeah, yeah, take some hand sanitizer. Who knows what's going on down here? Yeah. <laughs> going on down here? Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, we're we're back at Mutiny. We're so glad to be back. We've got our guest, Maris the Great, <laughs> the legendary undead, K Undead. Yes. Yes. And I am joined by my co-host uh, and padre, uh, Jim Norris. Hey, thanks for having us. Thanks for having me. Oh, Most man. acceptable mortal yeah. you are, too. You are more legendary than am I, which is saying something. We had a <laughs> well, 20-year crush. We worked together. We've been doing stuff together a long time. It doesn't mean that you're going to live for much longer, however. I would be honored to die. Honored to die. We will see if you feel that way. Well, I am gnawing in into your cranial, which could happen at any time. Having me in such a space like this is like taking a tiger out of its cage in the zoo and thinking you're a tiger, Mr. Tiger King, and that the tiger's all cuddly. Yes, we're cuddly until we start biting into your cadaver. Yeah, and we're in such close proximity. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you know, uh, this is like Tiger King. He is right. I've been I've been waiting a long time to get killed by Maris. Yeah. Excellent. That's why it's so nice to have you back. Yes. Uh, I knew you could retire. It was not a retirement by choice. It was decomposition. Oh, <laughs> five years Looking ago. Look at all the staples. Yeah. Yes, five years ago, after fifteen years of hunting bands from around the world in Denver. Finally, I came into decomposition, but I was able to keep it at bay by drinking a steady diet of alcohol. Alcohol is a preservative, you know. Yes, yes yep. very much so. Yeah. So Maris, tell us how you were originally conjured. How did you come into being? In the 90s. I was in a band, the leader of one of the most popular dance bands in town. We were called the Heterosexually Challenged. <laughs> <laughs> one night, we were playing a gig. Where? And in the audience was a number that I wanted to pick up. He was tall and blonde and adorned in leather. A leather daddy was he. Jim? <laughs> <laughs> what, are you another daddy? I've never had the long, I haven't had long blonde hair in a long time. <laughs> so we went to a hotel, Ooh. and I thought he was the strong, silent type. Turned out he was the strong, undead type. Ooh. But I didn't know it. He fucked me so hard, my head went through the headboard, <laughs> hence where I got the scar what? on my cranium. Nice. Phew. When I wow. awoke, I was undead. I stapled my head together. I went back to my band, and I suddenly realized that dance music wasn't good enough. We needed to become a rock and roll band. Yes. And I changed our name to Maris the Great and the Faggots of Death. And we assumed we would take our rightful place at the top. Of course. But wherever I went, there were other bands, other bands stealing the oh. spotlight from us, stealing I our fans, no bastards. Spotlight from you. It was at such a time that I came up with my mission and purpose. I would kill all competition until only my band remained and thus became the most popular in the world. I just didn't count on there being... 500,000 bands. <laughs> how, how many bands did you end up killing in the first one? 120. Well, really? you made a dent. Wow. That's pretty wow. impressive. Yes. 
Most of them were general bands, but by the end, I was killing national bands. Yeah. Right. Nice. Taught me to pass through Denver safely, and they found out they were all too wrong. Like all of you will find out you're all too wrong. You think you're safe right now watching this. You think that you are able to keep in hiding. You won't be for much longer because I can smell your brains. I can even smell them now. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the first band that you killed? Rubber Planet. Oh, yeah? No kidding. I remember that. They're still yeah. around even though they're undead. They survived. You've helped, you've helped Denver Band survive. I possibly. Yeah, point. Yeah, Did you pass yeah, along the, the undead Yes, gene? many of them are undead themselves, but they are my minions. Oh, nice. As long as they don't get too popular, we're good. <laughs> so the second band was Blister 66. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. Chris Dillinger? Yes. I just saw him a week ago. How's he, he doing? He is good. Yeah. He's been reborn <laughs> into mortality with a meddling vagina band by the name of Lola Black. Lola! I met you the other night, and the threat is still here. By the end of the summer, you will be dead, and <laughs> I will take the rightful place on top as the most popular rock band in Denver, not Lola Black. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, goals. How did you come up with the idea for this? Was it a vision? Was it alcohol-induced, you said? An idea. Uh, I just told you how I came up with that. Yeah, yeah. I decided to kill all bands until mine, only mine remains. And how and uh, how long ago uh, was this in the nineties? I remember you from like ninety six or ninety seven. No, oh, I was that still back? in a heterosexually challenged really? then. Oh, okay. But shortly thereafter, I died somewhere in ninety nine. My website that mm -hmm. documents all the death yeah. went live June first, two thousand. Wow. Oh wow! At midnight, I I remember seeing those uh, photographs when I was in OFM and doing that, and seeing how, uh, you know, how you know, the 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 uh, the violence of those photos. Yes, I was like, you wow, and Dad were not playing that around. In, that was intense. Uh, yes. So back then, was that, that was like Rotten.com or Maris the Great's website. Right. Yeah. right. So <laughs> the first year that I was. In existence, I had a show at the Gothic Theater on Halloween. Nice. It's called Bite My Halloweeny. <laughs> to gain access to the theater, I killed the manager at that time, a mortal who's dead now, by the name of Matt Knee. Oh, yeah, I the remember that. Infamous Matt Knee. Yes. yes. So the wow. picture of Matt his Mead. death, in, I killed him in front of the Gothic Theater stage. I put it on my website. Someone got a hold of the picture and they sent it to the police in Middleton. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and so he had to go in the middle of the night to prove that he wasn't dead. <laughs> now, here is the thing he was all too dead, but he had reanimated. Right. <laughs> and so what they were seeing talking He's to just them a little was an yeah, yeah. undead. And so at such a time as that, the police decided that what I must be doing isn't real. And that's allowed me to prosper ever since because everyone thinks that this is all theatrics. It's not. The deaths you are seeing on my website are all too real. Ah, oh. The dead rise again and they dance. <laughs> How do you achieve such realism in those photos? By killing them. <laughs> yes, yes. The best way to make someone look dead is to kill them. Yeah, that is the best way. Yeah, that is pretty, pretty I accurate. like to mix it up. So sometimes I'll have pictures of me just biting right into them or maybe gnawing an arm off. Other times, some of my favorites are the ones that look like crime scenes. Yeah, so yeah. I got yeah. the idea for many of my actual murders from real murders mm. that I had researched, saw crime scene photos, 
And then I would say, I can do that. Wow. I can bite off someone's head like that. Yeah, wow. So that that's what inspires you? Uh, yes. For, for those? And then, so many of what you see on my website are from real photos right. or real crimes that were committed. Wow. Mm. There was a band called Bodies, Bodies We Buried. And I based it on the Houston mass murders of the late 70s. Mm. A mortal by the name of Dean Coral okay. kidnapped over 20 young men. He killed them and he wrapped them in plastic and buried their cadavers under a boathouse. Oh, oh wow. very Dexter. Yes. yes. And so when he was discovered, they found the remains still wrapped in plastic. So if you go to my website and look how bodies were buried, you'll see what they saw. <laughs> in that respect, you do pre, uh, predate the TV show Dexter. Yeah. Dexter was a mortal TV show, yes. Yeah. That you enjoyed. Yep. Nurse was on top of it before anything. Yes! Right. I was before Dexter, and he is mortal. I am clearly undead. Do <laughs> His I show not ended. Smell? And Ma here's Maris. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> What's your website? MarisTheGreat.com. Go there, and you will see the first victims of my return in the wear. Who's the new victim? Ah, I get to announce that. Yeah. Yay! So, next week, out there is a folk punk guitarist by the name of 86B. 86, 86B? Yes. yes! 86B! 86B! If you're watching this, by this time next week, you will be dead. I have already decided upon it. I'm going to steal your songs for my band because we need some acoustic numbers to, you know, mix the set up a little bit. <laughs> and Who doesn't love lullabies? 86B, yeah, yeah. he makes pretty music with a fuck you message. I love oh, that. that's, that's nice. Yeah, that's perfect. That's, that's endearing. That's fitted great here. And so you should all look up 86B. And say goodbye to him because he won't be alive for much longer. Collectors are him. killing him. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Go to his side, buy up as much as possible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's fantastic. The um, and you can you describe to us like what your live shows are with the band? We, someone has said we are Kiss meets Fancy Division meets Gore. Nice. Gore are a bunch of men wearing rubber suits. I am clearly the real thing. Real or dead. Yes. 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 And so, one thing that's changed since we've come back, I've come back, is the world has suddenly become a very PC place. You yes, mortals yes. are trying to learn to coexist with one another. I commend to thee. So, for some mortals, they prefer to call my band Merits the Great and the FOD. Whatever suit to yourself, it doesn't matter to me because in the end you'll still be dead. So <laughs> whether you're PC or not, you're just a hamburger to me and the rest of us that are rotting. We're still going to take a bite out of you regardless if you refer to my band as the FOD or the faggots of death. <sighs> and it's, it's good rock and roll music. You still have discs and stuff available for sale on your website? Yes. yes, you shall go to my website. Because it's good. It's catchy. It's good. I love it. I mean, that's been the whole deal. He's yeah. been the real deal. I the am whole clearly time. all too real. And you should all be afraid. Right now, you should be texting both Jim here and Daniel and saying, I think you both need to slip out as quick <laughs> as you can while you're still alive. Oh. Well, I, I remember I, I owned the bar for a while, so I got a lot of bombing fluid left in me, too. <laughs> Just water now. But I think the residual effects yeah. of preservation. Three kings. Yep. You are the, my, so it's weird that you drank so much for now. The challenge played there when it was a lesbian bar called Zoo Denver. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That bar had great history with you know, alternative community, especially gay community. Yeah. That's why we need to make Broadway gay again. Yes. You know, so, I think we should. Yep. 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 I agree. Yep. Oh. So bring that vibe back. This that's what that, that was the rebels that settled the area. Because that's way back. That's like twenty five years ago. Twenty five mm. years ago. Well, yeah. That was the early nineties then, huh? Yeah. I was once like you, fragile, divided, 
but I have hoped <laughs> to a higher state of perfection when with undeath I found oneness with murder, your murder. It's a very Zen Buddhist kind of uh, feeling, yeah. it seems like. Being dead is very Zen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, Maris, yeah, so you've got to, you've announced that uh, you're returning with a new live show, too, right? Oh, yes. Oh, really? My band is playing on Halloween night at the Marquee Theater. Now, tonight, or actually last night, was the first time the Marquis Theater has opened up since God's plague has tried to rid me off of the face of the earth. You didn't all know that, did you? We'll talk about that tonight. Ooh. Anyway, they just opened up again, and it's a good first sign that we might be heading in the right direction that will lead to Halloween if you all don't fuck it up. <laughs> so wash your hands. Wash your ass. Oh! Wear a mask. Don't eat anyone's ass. Yeah, that's what we do now and Halloween. Save it for Halloween. My Save head. it for, for Halloween night. It, it'll make it so much more special. Halloween night. You might is, have COVID in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Halloween night is analingus night. Let's make Whoa, it Whoa, analingus. <laughs> nice. So, have either of you enjoyed the pleasures of analingus? Not, not yet. Can't can't say that I have. A straight male mortals take a little bit more time to enjoy the pleasures of the flesh, such so as their anus. Yep, you're you're kind of bookended by uh, two of the uninitiated. <laughs> Maybe we can change all of that tonight if you have a proper.